Hi, this is Sari from Color Design. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I promise to my Instagram followers I am going to show you five ways to create SGV uh, cut files. I hope this information comes in handy. So let's get just started. First method is to use online converter, which many of you have already tried. Uh, there are many choices when it comes to choosing the right one to use. Oh, this time I am using a converter from lovesgv.com. This method is super super easy. Even if you are not tech expert, I believe the process is simple enough to follow through. All you have to do is get design ready, upload it by clicking this button, and just watch how the converter converts your design. If you're happy, just click this download button and voila, SGV is ready for you. However, while I'm loving this method for its easiness, there are a few cons. First of all, you can't do multiple colors. Let's try. Even though this dog face is a simple design, Converter does not recognize the colors and therefore does not make colored layers. Which many of you want to achieve, so our Converter does not have the ability to re recreate color-coded layers. Second, second con is that you can't convert complex images. Let's say you want to make SGV from the photo of your adorable puppy like this photo. If you try to upload a complex image like this, this happens. Online converter is ideal for black and white design without complex details. Not so much with complex designs with multiple colors. Another way is to use graphic design programs such as Adobe Illustrator to convert design into SGV. Basically, Illustrator will do the work for you, like the online converter, but this, time, this, this method, you will have more control over the process. The biggest difference between the previous method and this method is that you can convert multiple colors. To demonstrate, let's use the same dog image we used last time. So first step is open the Adobe Illustrator, make new artboard. Load the image on the artboard and by using selection tool, select the image. Go up the menu button, click object and go to image trace. First it will trace as black and white, so go top of the artboard and click this icon. This will let the control panel be visible and let you tweak the tracing process. This time, I changed the setting to 6 colors, tracing mode, which will let you trace colors. When you are happy with those results, just hit expand button, which will complete the converting process. If you see any places you don't need, um, you can delete them. You can take a direct selection tool and delete little flaws. For a quick note, there was a copyright credit on top of the image that I used. Um, you shouldn't have to worry about this this issue and removing these letters because doing so will be illegal. I was, I'm very sorry for using this um, image as a demonstration. If you like to use this image, you can purchase it from dreamtime.com. After done cleaning the image, all you have to do is to save the file as SGB by going to save as and select SGB format. Let's go into the next method. The next method is gives you the freedom to trace anything you want. However, you will need to be familiar with a graphic design program such as, again, Adobe Illustrator. This met method comes in handy when you have your own drawings or any designs you want to tweak, clean lines, or change any aspect of the design you want to convert into SGB. Let's demonstrate. I have these hand-drawn ice cream that I draw the other, other day. As much as I like the hand-drawn fill to it, I want to clean the lines and reshape the design. So by using the pen tool, rectangle tool, ellipse tool, and other path-creating tools, I trace the drawings and recreate straight and smooth lines. Again, save the file as SGV file, and you can cut your own design with QuickUp Design tool. Tracing design can be learned, but you might need good practice before you get used to it. If you'd like me to do a video, entire video on how to trace and desidize on drawings, leave a comment and I'm more than happy to do it if anyone's interested. I feel like this is a hidden hack that many people do not know. So, SGV files are not only for cut files actually, commonly you also used for elements you see in the website and we, as a graphic designers, use the vector images 
to create imitations, posters, and many other both prints and screen designs. Having said that, a website like freepick.com offers millions of different vector designs, and many of their designs can be actually easily converted into SGV cut files and cut these designs by using cutting machines. The tricky part is that you have to pick and choose the designs. I wish cutting machines can cut any designs, but many of the designs are that Freepik offers are very complex, like this one. As you can see, this one is not suitable for cutting machines. But simply, some simple designs like this, you can download it, open the Illustrator file, and simply save the design with X SGB extension. You do not have to go through the converting process since the file is already a vector file. Last but not least, for those of you who are so busy taking care of kids or working, I feel you. I have two kids too. Don't worry, you can always ask someone who do these things for a living. Simply visit Etsy store and there are many stores that take custom SGB orders. I will leave a few links down below for you to visit and ask the seller if your desired designs can be turned into SGB. Good luck and hope you find what you're looking for. So these were the 5 ways to make SGV files, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram. We upload many free SGV cut files weekly basis, we have over 500 SGV files, so go download them from kaleadesign.com. Thank you for watching and see you guys soon!